turn butts. Welcome to Bridge, the best card game ever. To start, you need to take a few lessons and play plenty of hands. Here's how it goes. Four people sit at a table and are dealt 13 cards each. You play with a partner who sits opposite you and you try to win a certain number of tricks. You make a contract about how many tricks you think you'll win. That's why it's called Contract Bridge. If you manage to win these tricks, your side scores points. If you don't, the other side scores points. A trick is a card played by each person, one at a time, clockwise, and the highest card wins. There are 52 cards in the deck and four suits. Spades, hearts, diamonds, and clubs. They're ranked in importance from the ace down to the two. Whoever wins a trick leads any card they choose to the next trick, trying to win that one too. Everyone must follow suit, and if they can't, they discard. That is, they play a card of another suit. It can't win a trick unless a trump suit has been named. A trump beats any other card, provided you can't follow to the suit led. Any one suit could be trumps, spades, hearts, diamonds or clubs. So on each hand, your side, or the other side for that matter, decides if your hands are good enough to make a contract, either with a trump suit or in no trumps. To name a trump suit, you need eight or more cards of that suit between you and partner. This is called a fit, and the more cards you have, the better. Say you have five hearts and partner has four, that's a good fit, and your side should do well with hearts as trumps, provided you have some high cards too. In deciding whether a hand is good enough to take a certain number of tricks, players look at two things. Their high, that is their honour cards, and their long suits. The suggested way to do this is add four points for each ace in your hand, three for each king, two for each queen, and one for each jack. Next, look at your long suits and add an extra point for any suit that has more than four cards. So, a five card suit is worth one extra point, a six card suit, two extra, and so on. Usually, the side with more points makes a contract on each hand. They're known as the declaring side, and the other pair are the defenders, or the opponents. The defenders try to take enough tricks to beat the other side's contract. Declarer plays the hand, and the defender to their left gets to start the play by making the opening lead. They usually lead their best suit to take tricks early. After that, Declarer's partner, known as the dummy hand, puts their cards face up on the table in rows. They don't make any more decisions about the play. Instead, Declarer does. When all 13 tricks have been played, a score is recorded. Because Declarer has to play their partner's hand as well as their own, they should make a plan before playing to the first trick. Count the winners in both hands and decide what has to be done to make the contract. Sometimes tricks need to be developed. Look at this hand. The south hand has three aces, worth four points each, that's 12, and one king worth three points. That makes 15 high card points. You can also count two length points for the six card heart suit, one for the fifth heart and one for the sixth heart. The total is 17. Partner, North, holds one king, that's three points, two queens, worth two points each, that's four, and two jacks, worth one point each, that's two. The total is nine. And there are no length points to add because there's no suit longer than four cards. Hearts are trumps and the goal is 10 tricks. The lead is the King of Diamonds. Let's count the winners. 
six heart tricks. You're holding all the top hearts and 10 of them between the two hands. How many winners you count depends on the number of cards you hold in the longer hand, six with Sal. There are two more winners in spades, the ace and the king, and another trick if you trump a spade in dummy. The diamond ace will win a trick too, making a total of 10 tricks. Another way of looking at it is that you'll lose two diamond tricks and one club trick. So win the lead with the ace of diamonds and play the ace of hearts and the king of hearts to take out the opponent's trumps. Next, play a spade to the king and a spade to the ace and then the spade four and trump it in dummy. This will add up to 10 tricks. You've made your contract. Here's another hand to practice counting winners. Spades are trumps and the goal is 10 tricks. South holds one ace worth four points, one queen worth two points and two jacks worth one point each, that's two. This adds up to eight. And there's a fifth spade worth one length point, taking the total to nine. North holds two aces worth four points each, that's eight. Two kings worth three points each, that's six. One queen worth two points and one jack worth one point. That's 17 in high card points. And there's a fifth diamond, taking the total to 18. Even though you have beautiful diamonds, seven of them between your hands, you hold nine spades, and you also have all the top spades. So it's better to make the longer suit trumps, that's spades. If your side started the play, you'd make nearly all the tricks on this hand, five spade tricks, five diamond tricks, the club ace, and you'd be able to throw away your losing hearts on the winning diamonds. But because the other side gets to make the opening lead, they'll win their top hearts first. That's three tricks, the ace, the king, and the queen. After that, you should take all the rest, the top spades and diamonds, and the club ace, coming to 10 tricks. To practice these hands online, go to joanbuttsbridge.com. When you're ready, go to lesson two, which will introduce you to the bidding.